Well, thank you, uh, Austin, for the introduction. It's great to be in Made in Space today. Um, I also uh, want to recognize some of the other folks we have here. Uh, we have uh, Frank DiBello from Space Florida. Uh, we have Michael Snyder from Made in Space. And then we also have Andrew Rush uh, from Made in Space. So we really appreciate working with all of them. Um, you know, we are in Florida, I think, um, in the midst of a great renaissance with respect uh, to space. Uh, if you look back 10 years ago, 8, 10 years ago, down in a place like Cape Canaveral, you know, the space shuttle had been retired. The area was, uh, was not looking great into the future. Um, and then what we've seen partially with the advent of technology, but partially with, you know, vision and leadership is um, you have all these companies now coming into Florida. You have NASA that's been reinvigorated, and we are going to, over the next several years, uh, put American astronauts back on the moon, uh, which is going to be very exciting. Uh, so we really have great opportunities, but I think the difference between now and, say, when the space program was big during the Cold War is the amount of private sector involvement is, is just incredible. And I think Made in Space is a great example of that. Um, they've already flown eight different miss missions to the International Space Station. Um, and last November, they launched their latest space station facility using hardware developed and tested right here in Jacksonville. And six months ago, NASA awarded them a $73.7 million contract to develop the Arcanaut-1, the world's first self-assembling satellite, uh, which will help NASA with long-term goals for missions from Moon to Mars. Uh, now, they were founded in Silicon Valley in 2010. Uh, but they have had a presence here in Jacksonville since 2015, um, and we appreciate that presence, but we're even more appreciative with today's announcement, and it's my pleasure today to announce uh, that Made in Space has decided to relocate their corporate headquarters from California to Jacksonville in this great environment we have in the state of Florida. So it's really exciting. We're proud of what we offer in Florida. We do uh, take pride in having a, a positive business climate. We want companies like this to succeed because we think that's more opportunity for the citizens of Florida. Um, and we try to have policies uh, that will do that. But we're also uh, happy that, you know, as they're making things here in Jacksonville, you, know, you have such easy access to the number one place in, in the world right now uh, down in Cape Canaveral. And uh, we're working on some other things there. I, talked to the president. I mentioned uh, the Space Command locating it there. And you know, we'll see what ends up happening with that. But there's a lot of great, great things. And with this move, they're investing more than $3 million. Uh, their footprint has increased from a two-room facility to this 19,000-square-foot facility. I was able to do a brief tour around. Um, a lot of the stuff is, is space that will be filled you know, going forward, but it still has the new car smell. Um, and they're still in a situation where you know, this thing's just going to blossom more and more. So they had uh, 24. Uh, employees now they're gonna they are 75 and counting so this is uh, this is really really neat and um, you know if you look at what's happened with people in this industry moving and having a bigger footprint to Florida just in the last year I mean Firefly Aerospace uh, they announced 52 million dollar launch and development project in Florida Boeing announced the movement of its space and launch headquarters uh, from Virginia uh, to Brevard County. Lockheed Martin announced the establishment of its new Fleet Ballistic Missile Program headquarters on Florida's Space Coast, and OneWeb satellite, uh, satellites opened the doors to its new 105,000 square foot production facility, and that'll be uh, something very good with the satellites. So, so we have a, a lot of great things going on, um, but I'm really happy that um, Made in Space is, is here in Jacksonville. Um, I think that this is great for the community, and I think what they're doing by doing some of this manufacturing in space is really cut, cutting edge, but I think it has prospects uh, for doing a whole host of great things um, in various aspects uh, of, our, of our everyday lives. So I want to thank them for letting me come for this. Um, and I think we have uh, Frank DeBello is going to come up and say a few words, but um, you know, we've got a new company headquartered in Florida, so it's a great day.